Hello, it's Jim Ryerson from Sales Octane, and today we wrap up the framework for a video prospecting approach. And you can use this framework of be brief, be bright, and be gone with phone prospecting, but our focus is on a more visual approach using video messaging, because that will have a higher probability of connecting with a prospect. So first, two weeks ago, we talked about being brief. Eight seconds make a connection. Second, you're bright meaning you're raising awareness of relevant issues and then using your customers or other like third-party knowledge leaders to share the results that they're getting with your product or service. Now, that way you remain humble, yet you're knowledgeable and you're relevant. So now it's time to be gone, which means having a clear call to action. That's to move the conversation or the sale to the next step. I mean, we often spend, when I'm doing sales conferences, we spend so much time crafting objection responses. But we fail to spend a lot of time, in many cases, crafting a strong call to action. And it's possible by having a strong call to action, you're going to avoid objections. Here's why. The brain works five to seven times faster than the mouth. So your prospect while you're trying to bumble around, continuing to talk, and you fail to close with a clear call to action, they have a lot of time to think of objections. So here's how to craft your call to action. Think of three words, what, why, and how. And again, we're talking about prospecting cold calls, so the what is, what are you asking them to do? What's the call to action? Now, is it to agree to another meeting, face-to-face, -face, screen share, come to your showroom? Is it to sit in on a demo of your solution. If it was demo, it might start like this. Okay, then the next step is to experience our software in a brief demo. That it, that's it. I mean, that's telling them what you're asking them to do. And, and you need to write this out. Then add the why they should agree to do what you're asking. So what's in it for them? And make sure to use the word because as a transition. There's more on that in the link below. So it might sound like this. So the next step is to experience our software in a brief demo because then you can see how or even if there's a fit. So there you go. You shared what you want and why. Then last is how. And for how, you want to be assumptive and you want to use an alternate choice of two to three options. And then finish with an open-ended question. So when you pull it all together, it might sound like this. Okay, then the next step is to experience our software in a brief demo because then you can see how or even if there's a fit. And, and we can do the demo over screen share, one-on-one, -on -one, or you can invite some other team members to join us. Which way would you like to go? Now, write it out. Test it. Figure out what works. But reality is, without a strong call to action, the best of conversations end abruptly, and you're gone. You're gone with nothing more than a, well, let me review this more, and if I'm interested, I'll get back to you. Brief, bright, and gone with a clear call to action. The key to execute in prospecting. Now, next week is the payoff. And the payoff is not just more appointments and increased sales. In the meantime, craft your call to action. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel because together we all win and have a great weekend.